Hey, this is Dan Lamb Pro, YouTube.com, Steps Express. Make sure you hit that subscribe and the like button as we continue to bring you these tutorials. Today, we're doing a tutorial on how to set up Instant Replay in Telestream Wirecast. Let's get started. <laughs> Okay, so here we are in Wirecast. As you can see, I'm on the screen. We're using a virtual camera and our other program, so it's pretty much the same camera. So we're gonna make it quick. In order to set up Instant Replay, we already went over how to set up what I call ISO, which is really ISO, and that's uh, when you wanna use a isolated another camera and record it without it being seen on this platform. But we already did a tutorial on that. Make sure you go over there and check that out. So it's pretty simple. You pretty much the same process for your instant replay. So what you do is you go up here to the top where it says replay ISO. Click on there. Instead of start all, hit configure. Now, instead of configuring this time where we hit down here, I uh, add as ISO, we're going to go to replay settings. Now you see when I hit replay settings, you see all this different stuff come up. So I can sit and I can set how I want my instant replay to be. So I'm gonna set mine to unlimited, but I'm still gonna only set it to three minutes because I don't, I mean, how many people need more than that for instant replay? But I'm gonna set it to three minutes just to give it a limit. Or you can set it to a minute, you can set it to a couple seconds. Uh, you got all that in here. You see hours, minutes, seconds. Uh, you can set it to 30 seconds, default replay 30 seconds, if you notice. Now, where you see it say default replay speed, if I want it to be in slow motion like you see most uh, instant replays be, I would click right here. And if I go 0.5, it would be really, really slow-mo. And point, uh, 0.25 is really slow. So if you really want it slow, almost that groggy look, but people have different users for different reasons, but they put it there, so some people must be using it. But I'm gonna leave mine at one X, but that's where you would go change the speed of your instant replay. And then it say main layer one. Now, I want my instant replay, when I, when I make it, I want it to pop up on layer one. You see where it say main layer one? I can have my instant replay pop up on that layer but I could have it pop up on any layer that's in the Wirecast framework, which is one, two, three, regardless of which one. And you'll see once we close this out, um, I'm gonna point out to you what those layers are. So right now, I want mine to come up on the main layer, which is where my main camera is. So it'll come up there and then you can switch over to that and then it'll play and then it'll go back, uh, default back to whatever was already planned. So now, uh, ask to keep recording. And that's in case once I uh, click on my instant replay, I want it to ask me to keep the recording before I put it in my file instead of just putting it directly in the file. You see you have keep recording, ask to keep recording, or delete recording. So it'll ask you before it does anything. Replay shot template. So you can have shot templates, or you can put one in here, Black Magic Design. Uh, you can, uh, you, I put none. As you can see, I don't have a name for a template, so I wouldn't have one here. And then it say, after creating replay shot. So we can have none, we can have black magic video, uh, whichever template I wanna use, I can have it uh, come up in that particular uh, slot or shot, whatever I named it. So uh, we're gonna keep it on our main layer though. So after creating replay shot, show in preview. So I, could, I wanted to show in the preview uh, mood as far as the shot or oh, i want to remute mute replay clips containing audio so that's pretty much what i want to do because a lot of times you want to talk over it but sometimes if it's music or something you want it in there you would you wouldn't click this you would uh keep it uh not not activated and then say activate replay manually so i want to come in manually not record or uh broadcast i want to ha have control over my instant replay. So once we set our instant replay up as we have in here and we got all our parameters set, we're gonna hit okay. And now that I hit okay, the way that you make an instant replay in Telestream is the same as you made that ISO 
or what I call ISO. And you just go here, up here where you would normally go for your, for your ISO. You're going to hit replay and we're going to hit start. And now you see that I started it. I could have started it from here or I could have started where you saw me started at. When I click start, you see I, now I have my functions to make my instant replay. So now, if I want to get an instant replay, I just click this button right here. And you're going to see it pop up right here on the main line next to our original video. So I'm going to hit instant replay. And there it go. So it's getting the instant replay. Now I got a couple of seconds of that. And then I'm going to hit stop. So now you can see the difference between the timeline. This is my main camera where I clicked on the main layer. And this is my instant replay. And I can go in here and see where I want to put my time as far as my instant replay. So I just want to show where my hand is moving. And that's it. So I'm going to drag this right here. Now, when I hit instant replay, you'll see it. See? There go my instant replay playing in the screen. And when it finish, it normally go right back to the scene that was already planned. So here's the deal. It's not going to go back to my main camera because they're on the same layer. Now, if I want to go back to my main camera, I could put it on another layer. We can change it. But I do that for a reason because I usually want the instant replay to play and then I click back to my main camera on my own. However, you notice the playlist down here on the, on the second layer is playing and that's because watch what happens after my instant replay play is going to default back to that playlist. You see? So those seconds that I cut out for my instant replay, so that could be a sports program or something that you want to show where they kick the ball again. So see, I can play my instant replay and it's going to default back to that playlist. So if I had my camera on the same level, if I had this and I drug this down here, now let's see what happens now. After my instant replay play. See, now I went back to my main camera. So by changing the layers, now watch this. I'm going to put my uh, these two layers back. So what I'm going to do is make these active. And then I'm going to click my instant replay. Now, I'm back on live because it defaults back as long as it's not on the same level. But I like mine on the same uh, level for the simple fact that when I finish with it, so just say I play my instant replay right here. So let's play my instant replay. Now when it finish, I want to go back to my camera on my own. So if I'm going to edit it later, I have the power to do that. Now, if I wanted to default, fine, because I may be live. So if I'm live, I'll probably put that instant replay on another level. What we wanted you to see was how we got instant replay. So that's a sports program or anything, dance or any type of event where you want to copy a little bit of something out of that particular video, especially if you edit in a video and you want to do instant replay, which you can do a number of ways, but we're showing you how to do it in Telestream Wirecast. And that's pretty much it. Hey, I'm Dan Land Pro, YouTube.com, Steppers Express. Don't forget to subscribe. How to use instant replay in Telestream Wirecast. Peace.